hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can ads over onto your instagram account using instagram manager so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into it so the first thing that i want you guys to do is come over to business.instagram.com and you will arrive over onto this website now as you can see this is their main website over here and it's pretty simple over here at the top you have your products you have your for creator section then you have inspiration and help and as you can see this is the website now what you want to do is just simply create an account or you can just log in if you already have one so if you don't have an account just simply click on create an ad and what it will do is it will take you over to the ad manager over onto facebook now this is basically where you're going to be making a different ad for your Instagram account because ever since Facebook launched its business suite everything has been converted over onto this place so you have WhatsApp ads over here Instagram ads Facebook ads everything is over here in this one so it's pretty amazing and it's really simple to handle now once you have done that all you have to do is choose the campaign objectives so you have brand awareness you have reach you have traffic engagement app installations video views lead generation messages conversions and many many more just simply choose a campaign objective and we can move on so let's just assume that we want to have views on our video so let's go ahead and choose that and just simply click on this button right here and name our a campaign so over here we can name the campaign and down below we can create ad set and we can name the ad set and then we can down below we can create the ad and we can name this ad so over here just simply enter in the name let's just say that it's a test video so let's go ahead and write in test campaign and then down below where we can determine our audience placement scheduling and timing and such and such over here let's just go ahead and select skip ad set and then ad itself is going to be skipped so if we want to create an ad we gotta do that so if we skip this as you can see just skip it so let's go ahead and name this as well so i've written test set and then down below i've added test ad now let's go ahead and click on continue and as you can see this is the main campaign over here so this is how it will look like so over here as you can see i've named the campaign over here we can create a template just like before and then down below we have special ad category then we have the campaign details where we can add more details to our campaign and then we have campaign budget optimization a b tests and such and such and then down below we have our action over here as you can see i've selected video views and we can have more options over here and then down below we have a slash b testing and campaign budget optimization so over here let's go ahead and add special ad categories so over here we have credit we have employment, housing, social issues and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and add credit over here. And once we've added credit, we can go ahead and add the countries. So that's that. And once you have done that, let's go ahead and click on save. And then this action will be saved. So let's go ahead and click on save. And as you can see, it's been saved. Now we're over here in the test set. Now this requires a little bit more information. So let's go ahead and add that. So over here, we have our name of the set then we have dynamic creative basically we provide creative elements such as images and headlines and they'll automatically generate combinations optimized for audience variations may include different formats and templates based on one or more elements so if you want to go ahead and turn that on you can go ahead and do that by clicking on this button and then down below we have budget and scheduling so we have daily budget we have lifetime budget as you can see so we can go ahead and add a daily budget to our campaign what that basically will mean is that for as long as the campaign runs every single day this amount of money will be debited from our account and then we can add a start schedule and then we can even add a end schedule as well and then we have more options basically we have run ads all the time so yeah that seems good we'll just keep it like that and then down below we have our audience so over here we can add our audience as well so let's go ahead and click on this button and choose if we want to create a custom audience or a special ad audience what these two basically means is that for if we create a custom audience ads will only be shown to people that have been interacted with our business and if we create a special ad audience we can reach new people who have similar online behavior to our most valuable customers as well so whatever you choose depends upon you let's go ahead and create a special ad audience so over here what we have to do is we have to select our source so what that basically means is that over here you will have some pages and options as well so as you can see these are two of my pages that i've added from my facebook account and you can add more pages as well as you go with them so let's go ahead and select this page over here and then we can add the regions or countries of our audience so depending upon whatever you want so let's go ahead and add china and once we have done that 
what we can do is we can select the audience size so the number of specific ad audience so what we can do is we can increase the number so the over here the audience size ranges from one percent to ten percent of the combined population of your selected location so as you can see this is the number of people that are going to be interacting with our ad hopefully if it all goes well so let's go ahead and click on create audience so as you can see the source is pretty small so this is my page and as you can see i don't have quite a lot of followers so you know i can't really do that but i'm sure that your business has more followers than mine so let's go ahead and cancel that I'm, i wish i could do it but unfortunately i don't have quite a lot of followers since it's a brand new account and then down below we have more options for diversity so we have age groups we have gender groups and detailed targeting as well so what that basically means is that you can add a specific age group for your ads so that your ads can target those specific age groups and then you can add the genders and as well so that the ads can target specific gender groups as well so over here we have detailed marketing as well so all demographics interests and behaviors are going to be added over here so we can go ahead and edit that as well so we have add demographics interest or behavior let's go ahead and browse go ahead and click on interests over here as you can see we have quite a lot of options so let's go ahead and click on anything over here let's go ahead and click on this random option which was advertising i guess and air conditioning and then we have automobiles and then we have communications and stuff like that i think that's enough so as you can see, we have added some interests and we can narrow our audiences as well. So we can add more languages as well. So we can add Chinese or English or Filipino or French or whichever language that you want to add. You can go ahead and add them by clicking on show more languages over here. And then you have placement over here. So you can choose the automatic placement, which is recommended. That will basically do is that it will automatically place your special ads or ads wherever it is available on the home screen so it can be in the bottom top or in the home feed or stories or wherever but you also have the option of manual placement as well so if we choose this option over here we can choose where our ads are going to be shown so over here we have feeds we have facebook feeds instagram feeds we have instagram shop manager manager inbox facebook groups we have facebook right column we have quite a lot of placement options over here so let's just go ahead and click on automatic we don't want to mess with that what we can do next is we can optimize and delivery options so we have through play and stuff like that we can optimize uh, our cost control so that we don't go overboard and over here on the right side we have estimated daily results so we can reach from 7.9 thousand to 23 thousand people in just a single day and then for that our cost will be 6.0 k to 17 k through play so that's pretty high so you have to keep that in mind so once you have done that all you gotta do is just simply click on next and you'll be over here in the final phase which is called ad name so over here you basically will choose the place where you want to place your ads so over here you have your test name you have your facebook page you have your ads over here you can go ahead and create an ad over here or you can use an existing post or you can use a creative hub mock-up that will allow you to create a mock-up of that ad so if you already have an ad go ahead and add your file over here add video or create video enter the primary text add a destination add the languages and add a setup or add a website or app setup or whatever or you can enter in a url and then just simply click on publish and everything will be done so as you can see it's verifying our edits as we speak so it's pretty simple so now all you gotta do is just follow this video step by step and you'll be able to easily create your own instagram ads so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye